dear friends today in the first reading we heard in antioch the disciples were first called christians we are reading from acts in the easter time the readings are taken from the acts of apostles and from last 3 weeks we are reading different passages from acts already we reached 11th chapter almost end of the 11th chapter chronologically almost 20 years 15 to 20 years passed after the death and resurrection of jesus christ and we see here the disciples in antioch were called first time as christians what about all the 15 years how they are identified in the bible we see the disciples or the followers of jesus were identified as brothers or saints or the people of the way but first time we see this word christians and maybe at least for some it will be surprising only three times we see this word christians in the bible first time we heard in the acts chapter 11 today's first reading and uh, again we see in acts when paul was addressing to king agrippa agrippa says do you think in short time you want to make me christian second time and third time we see in the letter of st peter first letter chapter 4 verse 16 if you suffer because you are a christian you are blessed only three times we see this word christians in the early christian community they identified themselves not as christians but it is the people who are non believers who started calling them as christians today in the gospel we are seeing all the jews gathered around him and asked him if you are christ tell us plainly and jesus said yes i told you and you do not believe it is not the jews who are calling the followers of jesus as christians but the people who are not because jews never accepted because christ means messiah the anointed one and who liberates people but people started believing and that's what we see in the first reading the hellenes which means like a greek speaking people they are not jews so other people who are not believers they converted and they started believing jesus and this first christian community always used to tell jesus is the christ as jesus said in the gospel i am the christ and you don't believe and this followers started believing and that's how this others started identifying this group of people as christians Christ is a word from Greek for the Hebrew word messiah and eons is a latin term which means like a followers or a group of people who are part of like that so which means like who are belonging to that person so christians means who are part of or who are followers of and that's how it took time even for the early christian community to identify with that name though initially it was like a nickname people calling from outside but later people started identifying now we are more than 2 billion christians around the world who are the followers of christ today we read the protagonist of the first reading barnabas and the bible says he was a good man barnabas was full of holy spirit and of faith and he brought many people to the lord in antioch along with saint paul we know we have 12 apostles jesus chose but the word apostle means the one who was sent out for a mission and we see in acts barnabas was also chosen to send out along with paul in the first missionary journey and the word barnabas which was attribution given to the person who is a levite named joseph 
Barnabas means son of encouragement. A person who exhorts, make people cheerful and motivate. And Barnabas was that kind of a person and Bible says he is a good man and full of Holy Spirit and of faith. Today, Holy Mother Church also remembers Saint Damien of Molokai. Last century, this great saint served the people who are abandoned by the society. He worked with lepers. During that time, all the lepers were kept in an island very far from the society. And this father Damien went and he started serving many years. And finally, he also infected with leprosy and he died. While father Damien was alive, he was very well known internationally for his heroic activity, how he served as a good shepherd. Jesus is telling, I am the good shepherd and there is no love greater than for a man who lays his life for his friends. And we see in the person of Saint Damien, that same good shepherd. God wants each one of us to be a good shepherd for others, a Barnabas for others, to help, to encourage, to motivate. Let us ask God to fill us with that zeal which he anointed with his spirit Barnabas and Saint Damien so that we in turn believe and make others known about the Christ 